An update now on a story we first brought you last night on Eyewitness News at 10 o'clock. The Rhode Island Department of Education hired Jacobs Engineering to evaluate every single public school in the state. The study found close to $190 million in deficiencies in Cranston schools. Julianne Pixoto sat down with Cranston Superintendent to address the staggering number. She joins us now with the latest developments. Julianne. Caroline Cranston superintendent wants to assure parents that all of the city's schools are structurally sound and up to code. She says addressing that $190 million worth of deficiencies will be a collaborative effort between school officials, the city, and of course the taxpayers. Cranston's 24 schools in need of tens of millions of dollars of renovations. It was a stunning number to see $190 million. But when you really start to break it down over 23, 24 buildings, um, I wasn't really surprised that it would be that much money. The study found many schools were overcrowded and well above enrollment capacity. Some are nearly a century old, built in the 1920s. We're trying to teach 21st century skills to students for the 21st century in buildings that were designed in the mid to early 20th century. Coming in third with the most outstanding deficiencies is Cranston High School West with $16.5 million worth of issues. QB Bain Middle School not far ahead with $17.5 million and topping the list Cranston High School East with nearly 21 million dollars worth of deficiencies. Superintendent Janine Nottamassi says the district prioritizes big ticket items that affect the safety of students. Sometimes the cosmetic things take a back seat because we're putting in sprinklers and, and things like that. The findings released Monday night are just a summary. The full report won't be released until next month. Not a Massey says consolidation and rebuilding are not being ruled out. I'm a resident and a parent as well. So I look at this and I think again, our priority needs to support 21st century learning. And can we do that in the buildings we have? And Nada Massey says once that full report is finally released, they'll form a task force with school and city officials, as well as business owners and taxpayers, on how to best address those deficiencies. She says the study will serve as a blueprint. Reporting live in the control room, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.